This is a short video by NHS Taysides, Children and Young People's Occupational Therapy Service. This video will look at one of our sensory systems, known as the visual system. It might be helpful, if you haven't already, to watch our previous video, which introduced all of the eight sensory systems. The visual system is the way in which we receive and process information through our eyes. We are able to perceive colour, shape, orientation and depth, as well as levels of light and movement in our environment. Visual information is relayed to our brains and which helps us to identify the object and give it meaning. We are then able to create a memory of the image and give it a context. An example of this is when we see a round object in a cone. We know it's an ice cream and not a ball. When our visual system is working well, it allows us to focus on the information we need and filter out the information we don't. For example, in a busy classroom or office, we will need to be able to head directly to our own chair without being distracted by all the others. This stops our visual systems becoming overwhelmed by all the information in our environment. Take a moment now to really look at your surroundings and take in what is in the room. There will likely be things you hadn't previously noticed because your visual system is doing its job in filtering out the extra information. Some children and adults can be oversensitive to visual stimulus. This can result in them being overwhelmed by the many colours in the room, the things on the walls, the number of tiles on the floor, or movements of those around them. This over-attention to visual detail is often seen in children with autism. Other children may be over-sensitive to things like strip lighting or bright sunlight. Reducing the clutter in the room, having minimal pictures on walls and wearing sunglasses can help to reduce levels of visual stimulation. Dimmer switches and blinds can reduce the light to a more tolerable level. Other children and adults may be undersensitive and hardly notice their surroundings unless they are specifically pointed out to them. They may find themselves confused and lost during activities that are visual. Activities which require Discrimination, such as finding small objects in a drawer or pairing socks from a pile, can be really difficult. Being undersensitive to visual stimulus may lead to sensory seeking behaviours, such as shining a torch into their eyes or staring hard at lights. It may be helpful to have audio cues alongside visual tasks and use clear contrast to make visuals stand out and think about the lighting within different environments. When doing schoolwork or activities such as reading and writing, it may be helpful to block out lines of text or the other questions to help your child focus on one part at a time. Some children may also benefit from different coloured paper to help them see the writing more clearly. For more information and activity ideas, there are lots of brilliant Facebook pages and websites. Here are a few of our favourites. If you would like any more information from the Children and Young People's Occupational Therapy Service, then please do not hesitate to get in touch.